Hello everyone and welcome to the second video of this PyTorch Lightning series. In the first video, we've seen how we could build a simple neural network for image classification using an NLP architecture. In this video instead, we will use a much more powerful architecture that is called CNN, which stands for Convolutional Neural Network. I'm not going into the detail of how this architecture works in this video, because I think that there are lots of resources, either on Google, such as articles or on YouTube that you could watch to get a better understanding of the architecture itself. But here I want to focus more on the actual implementation of a CNN using PyTorch Lightning. So I took this image from Google, which I think explains very well how the architecture works. And this is really similar to the architecture that we will implement in Lightning. So it will take as an input an image, which has just one color channel, and it will go through a few convolutional layers up to the point where we will flatten all the dimensions and we will input this into a fully connected layers, which will output some kind of probabilities using a softmax function. So let's go into the code. And I'm not going again into the detail of how to load a data set using the Lightning data module in Lightning, because this is pretty much the same as what I did in the first video. So if you want to see how you can load the MNIST data set, just watch the first video of this series. And I'm going to focus directly on the actual implementation of the architecture. So we are going to instantiate this class called S uh, CNN, which stands for Convolutional Neural Network. And this will inherit from the Lightning module. In the init constructor, we will define two parameters. The first one is called CNN of channels, which will be a list and it will make sense to you in a second. And the second one is called N labels, which basically are the number of labels of the MNIST data set, which are 10 digits. So here we have a default value of 10. Now, after calling the super method, we are going to instantiate this variable called CNN of channels. And here we say that if we do not pass anything when we instantiate the class, this variable will get a list with three values, 16, 32, and 64. So these are basically the what would be our output channels for each of our convolutional layer. In this case, there would be three. So I did this in this way because you can actually clone the repo on your local machine and use this code yourself. And depending on your local machine CPU, uh, you may want to shrink this list, maybe just using six, one convolutional layer with 16 output channels, or increase it if you have a GPU. You can also copy and paste this code from the repo to a Google Colab, and you can definitely increase this array. Then, as in the first video, we're going to instantiate these three variables using the accuracy class from Lightning. This will store the training accuracy, validation accuracy, and test accuracy at training time. Then we say uh, we create these variables called in channels uh, with one. This basically means that um, the input image uh, will have just one color channel since MNIST data set are black and white images. They just have one channel. If, for example, we would have dealt with um, colored channels, uh, sorry, colored images, uh, then this number would have been three for RGB images. Then we create this uh, variable, which is a list. Uh, this is called CNN block. And we need this 
because we're going to uh, iterate over the CNN app channels list defined over here. And what we're going to say is uh, that for every iter iteration, we are going to append to the CNN block a, uh, we are going to append a um, conf2d uh, layer, which basically is the way that we can use convolutional layer in PyTorch. And here we're going to pass the in channels, then uh, the out channel. So the first iteration will be uh, one for the in channel. So, and the 16 here, the first item in the list for the output channel. Then we will use a kernel size of three, stride of one, and padding of one, which basically uh, means the same padding. And then after appending a come to the layer, we will append a ReLU layer, and then we are going to append a uh, max pruning layer with a kernel size of two and stride of two. So this basically will half the size of the image. And then since we're iterating over the uh, CNN out channels, we are going to substitute the in-channel variables to the last out channel of every iteration. So in the first iteration, as I said, uh, the in-channel will be equal to one and the out channel will be equal to 16. Then at the end of the first iteration, we are going to substitute the in-channel to the number of out channel. So this will come in channel, in channels uh, will become uh, 16 basically. And so at the second iteration, we are going to pass 16 at the, as input channel and um, 32 um, as output channels and so on and so forth. So as you see, uh, this makes the creation of the CNN block uh, very dynamic and you can basically um, try whatever values you want um, on your on your local machine. Then we are going to uh, use the NN sequential um, method from PyTorch to um, create the CNN block that we can use at training time. And then we need the head and this is basically where we flatten the dimensions. So it will become uh, the first dimension, which is the number of batch, or, and, the, and then we will flatten all the other dimension, which in this case are the number of, um, of channels and the eighth and the width of the image. So in this way, we can pass uh, everything to a fully connected layer. So as you see here at the end of this three block, we are going to have um, 64 input channels and three, a three by three image basically. And it will output 10, um, 10 numbers. So we'll have 10 nodes as outputs and we will use a softmax uh, for, for create the probabilities. Then as always, we need the uh, forward method and this gets as input a, basically an image and here uh, outputs a, a tensor. We are going to pass this image to our CNN block defined here above and Afterwards, we are going to pass the outputs of the CNN block to our head block, and we're going to return this, um, this value. So afterwards, we can basically just go to our previous, um, vid, uh, like our previous implementation. So this will be the first video basically. And we can basically copy and paste what we already written here and reuse it in our CNN implementation. So we just need to make sure that everything is intended in the 
right way. So as you see here, it has to be back. Okay. So we're gonna have, as always, a training step, a training epoch end, a validation step, a validation epoch end, a test step, and a configure optimizer. Then in the main function here, we are going to instantiate the data set and here we're going to change the multi-layer perception with our CNN class. And we can actually keep everything the same. This uh, looks good. We are going to train just for just for one epoch, uh, cause my computer is not that powerful. And yeah, everything looks, look, looks good to me. So we can just try to train this model and let's see if it works. Okay, it seems to be working. Now it's downloading the data set. Now I start training. And as you see, it takes a bit cause the convolutional neural network is, yeah, it's much powerful, uh, especially when dealing with images, but it also needs uh, more time uh, a training uh, rather than a simple multi-layer perception. But as you see, we have done. Now it's testing to get the testing accuracy and the validation accuracy. And here we are. So we've got a 97% accuracy on the test set and a loss of 0 0.0.8, which if you think we had just trained for one epoch, these are very good results. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. So hope you liked it and in the in the next video, uh, we are going to see how to implement a recurrent neural network using Lightning. So stay tuned. If you like this video, uh, put a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to be updated when new videos will be released. So thank you and bye.